Hi there. Welcome to English for Everyone. My name's Lisa. And my name's Kevin. Today we're going to practice some words that have a difficult pronunciation. Let's get started. We're going to practice words that end with A-T-E. Words that end with A-T-E sometimes are pronounced eight and sometimes pronounced it. If it's a verb, it's pronounced eight. Example, separate. If it's not a verb, an adjective, for example, it's pronounced it, separate. We're going to practice some words that are not verbs, so they're all pronounced with the short it sound at the end. Let's take a look. We're going to practice words like passionate, compassionate, affectionate, template, pomegranate, appropriate, and inappropriate. Let's get started. Our first example is passionate. Passionate. The stress is on the first syllable, passionate. And the next two syllables are pronounced the same, uh, passionate. Passionate means you're full of energy, full of emotion, especially for a romantic relationship. They are very passionate. They have a passionate relationship. Our next word is compassionate. We put the stress on the second syllable, compassionate. Compassionate means you feel sorry for other people. When someone is in pain, you feel bad for them. If they need money, you feel sorry and you give them money. Compassionate, you have feelings for others. And with compassionate, we use the connector towards. So he is compassionate towards others. He gives the homeless person money, so he is compassionate toward others. Our next word is affectionate. Affectionate is a description. It describes a person or a dog that shows their emotion. They show their love. The dog is showing the boy that the dog loves him. So the dog is affectionate. He is showing his love. The dog is very affectionate. Our next word is template. Now this word is pronounced template in America, but in England they say template. But we're teaching American English, so we pronounce it with the eh sound. Template. And it follows the rule that if it's not a verb, it's not pronounced a. It's pronounced eh. Template. So there are many templates to choose from. It's a format to fill out a form, usually on the computer. So they have many templates to choose from. Which template are you going to use? Our next one is a fruit, and the pronunciation is pomegranate. Pomegranate. Stress is on the first, pomegranate, and third syllable. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. It's a fruit. I love pomegranate in my salad. Our next word is appropriate. This word is difficult to pronounce because you have the per sound two times. Appropriate. So practice this one slowly. pro pre it appropriate appropriate it is appropriate it is good for all viewers nothing offensive nothing that would offend anybody is appropriate appropriate clothes appropriate music appropriate movies so disney movies are usually appropriate for all ages our next word is inappropriate Inappropriate. Stress is on the inappropriate, the first and third syllable. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Inappropriate is not appropriate. I think zombie movies are inappropriate for children. This movie is inappropriate for children. So remember these words and how they're all pronounced with the e eh sound at the end. Passionate. Compassionate. Affectionate, template, pomegranate, appropriate, and inappropriate. Let's practice passionate. Are they very passionate? Yes, they are very passionate. Are they in a passionate relationship? Yeah, they are in a passionate relationship. Are they very passionate? Are they in a passionate relationship? That's right. They're in a passionate relationship. Let's practice compassionate. Is he compassionate toward others? Yes, he's compassionate towards others. Is it important to be compassionate toward others? 
Yes, it's very important to be compassionate towards others. Is he compassionate toward others? That's right, he is compassionate toward others. Is it important to be compassionate toward others? That's right, it is important to be compassionate toward others. Very good. Let's practice affectionate. Is his dog very affectionate? Yes, his dog is very affectionate. Is his dog very affectionate? That's right, his dog is very affectionate. Let's practice template. Are there many templates to choose from? Yeah, there are a lot of templates to choose from. Are there a lot of templates to choose from? That's right, there are a lot of templates to choose from. Do you know which template you're going to choose? No, I'm not sure what template I'm going to choose. Does she know what template she's going to choose? That's right. She's not sure which template she's going to choose. Let's practice pomegranate. Do you like pomegranates? Yeah, I like pomegranates. How do you eat pomegranates? I like them in salads. Does she like pomegranates? How does she like to eat pomegranates? That's right. She likes to eat pomegranates in salads. Very good. Let's practice appropriate. Are Disney movies appropriate for all ages? Yes, Disney movies are appropriate for all ages. So this cartoon is appropriate for children? Yes, it's appropriate for children. Are Disney movies appropriate for all ages? That's right, Disney movies are appropriate for all ages. Is this cartoon appropriate for children? That's right, this cartoon is appropriate for children. Let's practice inappropriate. Do you think zombie movies are inappropriate for children? Yes, I think they are very inappropriate for children. Do you think zombie movies are inappropriate for children? Very good. Zombie movies are inappropriate for children. So do you think this movie is inappropriate for your children? Yes, I think this movie is very inappropriate for my children. Do you think this movie is inappropriate for your children? And do you think this movie is inappropriate for her children? That's right, this movie is inappropriate for her children. Very good. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, watch it again. Keep watching and we'll see you next time.